everybody, welcome back to update number four of the Road to Gullum and Payton Challenge, right? So the first week we had some Primary Marines. Second week we had some Reavers. Third week we were back to doing some more Primary Marines. So this week I wanted to do something different. Not completely different, but different. So this week's update video is going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys the Lieutenant Calcius model that I painted. Now including the first, well including this guy, that brings the total so far to 14 models, so we're moving along at a steady, play, steady pace. I think there's roughly about 60 or 70 models, so you know we've got a, a nice little start to it. That's why I wanted to get a lot of the Primaris Marines done and out of the way. So we have 10 of them, we have 13 if we include the Premier or the Reavers. So um, it's nice to paint a singular model this week. So. You know, he's, a lot of parts of him are very similar, but at least I've got to spend a bit more time working on the model, uh, rather, or, or working on a single model, rather than working on a five-man unit. So, with that, let's switch down to the tail view and have a look at this week's model. Okay, so here he is. Now, one of the main differences from this guy is he has a sword and there's a little bit of white on him. So you have a little bit of white here on the shoulder pad, a little bit of white on the knee pad. The base is massively bigger, I think. Roughly guessing, I don't know, 28 millimeter, maybe 30 millimeter for the other ones, but this one is much bigger. In fact, if you try and put them into the painting handle, you literally have to spread it out as far as it can to just, just about squeeze the base into them. So let's have a look at what I did. So obviously the color, is a little bit different from the other few. I went with a little bit more of a brighter color. So I did the McCraig blue base and then I did a mixture of McCraig blue and Calgar blue, a 50-50 mix. And I used that for the main color after I darkened all the recesses, just to try and make them stick out a little bit more from the other guys. So as a comparison, here's one of the sergeants from the other one. As you can see, he's a lot brighter. And spending more time with a singular model instead of like five of them gave me a chance to do that, to mess around with the colours. So, you know, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, everything else is kind of pretty standard. There's a lot more gold on the back here as well. A lot more little smaller details. The face turned out okay. I wish I'd be able to do a lot more detail on the face. But it, it's kind of tricky. It's not easy to do. For tabletop standard, this guy is, is fine. I'm happy with how he turned out. So, now the power sword. What I wanted to do was kind of have a glow effect coming out of here. Let me get a pointer instead of getting my big finger in the way. But, you know, it, it, it's going to take a bit more practice to do and I'm going to have to try it down. It's gonna, I'm going to try it in the future, but I'm going to have to practice it on a few practice models first. So what I did was I gave him a green power sword instead of, you know, kind of the blue effect. And I did that because I didn't want to, like, make it look like the color of the armor too much because it would have been that Calgar blue color that I probably would have used. So for now the green power sword effect is okay. I'm happy with how it turned out. It'll have to do though. Um, I had a lot of problem trying to do the white here. It's been a long time since I've tried to paint white. Um, there's not a whole lot of white on it. It's just like two very specific uh, markings on the knee and on the shoulder. Now the best way to paint white is to literally never use the white paint. So what I did was, now the first thing I did was, I don't know, I, I, it must have been like a long night or something. I can't remember, but I literally went in with the white scar and I started painting it. And it turned out a disaster, absolute disaster. So I had to get a cotton swab and start like removing the paint off with nail polish remover. Uh, individual parts here and on the shoulder. So what I did then was I switched to Ultuan Grey and built it up from there. So I went with Ultuan Grey, uh, no Celestial Grey and then Ultuan Grey and then I kind of, I tried to dry brush or highlight a little part of the white around it. So the white on it looks a little thick. It looks a little thicker than it should be but you know in the future at least I'll know and I'll do a better job of it then. Um, the base, what I did was with the rest of them, cork base with astro, astro granite along the sides and then dry brushed up to make it look a little bit brighter. And what I did manage to find is that I had a spear deck guard head from the bits from Warhammer Conquest. So I just stuck that on there as well. Just give it a deck guard green with a heavy wash over to make it look really dirty and old. Just to add a little something to the base. 
And that's going to be it for this week's update video. So, uh, Lieutenant Calcius, you know, had a few little trials and trepidations with this guy, but I'm really happy how he turned out, you know. He's, the lighter blue is what I'm really happy with. I'm not going to be doing it uh, a lot, uh, lot more often with... Uh, kind of units, but maybe for hero characters definitely just to make them stick out a little bit more So what's next? I really want to keep continuing with getting a lot of the bulk out of the way And one of the things some of the models that I've had for a very very long time are these guys These are tactical marines 30k tactical marines now these guys are on the list and these are from the betrayal at Calt box set. Now I've had these for so almost since the box came out and I never really got around to painting a lot of them. I got a couple of them done up. So I threw these on the list because I really want to go back and do some I hate to say older space marines because I'm not sure if everything is going to go to Primaris now. But I, I like the old tactical marines. You know it's kind of weird looking at them now since looking at the like a bigger scale uh, Primaris Marine, but I still I still like him. Everyone likes uh, Tactical Marine. So I have five of these. I've already started basing them up, so I'm going to get five more done for next week's video, and that's going to bring us to a tally of roughly nearly 20. So that's that's almost like 20% of the models done. So then I can focus on a lot more kind of hero models. The Dreadnought. What else is on the list? Um. Oh, I got a couple of word bears that I threw on the list. I know they're a different color, but that's what I wanted to do as well. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Lieutenant Calcius. How he turned out. You know, I'm happy enough. Tabletop standard. He's pretty decent. I like him. So, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.